Welcome back everyone for another week of SQL Server Fun. Today we're going to be talking about why the geography data type might not act like you expect it to in SQL Server. You might remember that last week we talked about how to take GeoJSON data and import it into the geography data types into SQL Server. And while doing that is really easy using the SQL Server JSON functions, it can sometimes get complicated if your data isn't formatted exactly like SQL Server wants it to. So I have these four points that represent the boundary, the border of the state of Colorado, and I have it in GeoJSON format. You might notice there's actually five points there. That's just because that last point is a repeat of the first point. Uh, that's just a way you indicate that your polygon, that your shape is closed, right? There's no open sides. It ends on the same point that it begins with. So we can take that GeoJSON and import it into SQL Server, parse it using the JSON and the spatial data functions like we talked about last week, and what you get is a geography data type polygon. Now, there's one interesting thing about this polygon. If we actually go look at the spatial results tab inside SQL Server Management Studio, you might notice something funny about how this polygon looks. See that little square there? That's the state of Colorado. And SQL Server has shaded in blue the area of our polygon. The weird thing is, though, it didn't shade in the interior of the state of Colorado, it actually shaded in everything else in the entire world. Basically, our polygon is inverted. So why does this happen, right? And there is a logical explanation for this. The geography data type in SQL Server uses what's known as the left-hand rule. So the easiest way to understand the left-hand rule is imagine you're walking the boundary line of our polygon shape. If we're walking around Colorado in a clockwise direction, and we look off to our left-hand side, that's the side that SQL Server is gonna shade in as the interior of our polygon. The left-hand rule in SQL, though, is exactly opposite of how lots of geospatial data is stored. For example, in the GeoJSON specification, it says that polygons should be stored in the direction using the right-hand rule. So whatever is to the right of the line being drawn is considered the interior of our shape. And that's exactly the problem that we're experiencing here, is that our original data was formatted using the right-hand rule, but SQL Server is expecting it to be in left-hand rule format. So how do we fix this polygon and have SQL Server display it the way we intended it to? So the solution is pretty easy. There's two ways we could do it. First is we just rearrange all the coordinates in our GeoJSON string so that the direction of our Colorado border is going counterclockwise. If the direction of the Colorado border goes counterclockwise, then the left-hand rule will correctly consider the interior border of Colorado as the area of our polygon. And while manually reordering our coordinates in our polygon is pretty easy in this example, because Colorado is just a rectangle and we have four points in it, doing that for Actual data could be really difficult because polygons might have hundreds or thousands, tens of thousands of points in them. So our second option is to use the reorient object function in SQL Server. And it does exactly what it sounds like it does. It reorients the direction of our polygon shape. So essentially, it makes the interior of shapes the exterior and vice versa when dealing with polygons. So essentially this problem is really easy to fix as long as you know why it's happening. So if you're ever in doubt, just trace the direction of your polygon to figure out if your original data was using the left-hand rule or the right-hand rule to store its polygon data. If that's too much work, just toss on the reorient object function and see if that corrects your data and makes it look like you expect it to. So that's it for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again next week. Thanks.